constructing equations and solutions class 6 and 7 ncert on connecting two algebraic expressions with an equal to sign involving only one unknown quantity a simple equation is formed the power of the unknown quantity in a simple equation cannot be more than 1 we will learn how to change a mathematical sentence into an equation and solve the equation. 2 added to a number x is 7. Let us say that the number is x. 2 added to the number will be x plus 2. And what is it equal to? 2 added to a number is equal to 7. So the equation is x plus 2 is equal to 7. On solving this equation, we get x equal to 5, which is the required number. 3 subtracted from a number x is equal to 8. Let us say that the number is x. What is 3 subtracted from a number x? x minus 3. And what is x minus 3 equal to? 8. So the equation formed is x minus 3 is equal to 8. And on solving, we get the number as equal to 11. 4 times a number x decreased by 7 is 21. Let us say that the number is x. What is 4 times a number? 4x. Now, 4 times a number x decreased by 7. So, 4x decreased by 7 will be 4x minus 7. Now, what is it equal to? 21. So, the mathematical sentence is 4x minus 7 is equal to 21. On solving this equation, we get x as equal to 7. So, the required number is 7. 2 times the sum of a number x and 5 is 30. Now let the number be x. What is the sum of the number and 5? It is x plus 5. Now 2 times the sum of a number x and 5 will be equal to 2 times x plus 5. And what is 2 times x plus 5 equal to? 30. Now on solving this equation we have x as equal to 10. So, the required number is 10. 27 taken away from 2 times a number x is 83. Now, let the number be x. 2 times a number is 2x. What do I subtract from 2 times a number? 27. Now, 2x minus 27 we get. Now, 2x minus 27 is equal to 83 because the sum says 27 taken away from 2 times a number x is 83. Now on solving this equation, we will get x as equal to 55. So the required number is 55. 9 times a number x is 40 taken away from 13 times the number. Let the number be x. What is 9 times the number x? 9x. Now, 13 times a number x is 13x. Now, 40 taken away from 13x will be 13x minus 40. So, we equate 9 times the number x to 40 taken away from 13 times the number. And we get equation or mathematical sentence as 9x is equal to 13x minus 40. Now on solving this equation, we have minus 4x is equal to minus 40 or x is equal to 10. So the required number is 10. Now, three-fifths of a number x is more than half of the number by 5. Three-five of a number x is 3 by 5. 
x. Half of the number x is half x. Now 3 by 5 of a number x is more than half of the number by 5. So the mathematical sentence will be 3 upon 5x is equal to 5 plus half x. Or we can say 3 by 5x minus half x is equal to 5. On solving this equation, we will get x is equal to 50. So the required number is 50. Timmy is 12 years older than Simi. The sum of their ages is 72 years. Let us say that Simi's age is x years. What will be Timmy's age in terms of Simi's age? Timmy is 12 years older than Simi. So Timmy's age is equal to x plus 12 where x is Simi's age. Sum of their ages is equal to 72. So x plus x plus 12 which is the sum of Simi's age and Timmy's age will be equal to 72. On solving this equation we get x as equal to 30. Now x is Simi's age. So Simi is 30 years old and Timmy is 12 years older than Simi. So 30 plus 12 is equal to 42 years which is Timmy's age. The length of a rectangle is twice its breadth. If the perimeter is 48 centimeters, find its length and breadth. Let the breadth be x. The length is 2 times breadth. So the length will be 2 times x. The perimeter is the sum of all sides. So length plus breadth plus length plus breadth will be equal to 48 centimeters. Or we can write 2x plus x plus 2x plus x is equal to 48. Now on solving this we get 6x equal x equal to 48 and x is equal to 8. So the breadth of the rectangle will be equal to 8 centimeters. Length is 2 times breadth. So length will be equal to 2 into 8 which is 16 centimeters. 6 times a number x increased by 10 is equal to 9 times a number x diminished by 11. 6 times a number x will be 6x. Six 6x six. Six is increased by 10. 6x plus 10. 9 times a number x is 9x. And 9x is diminished by 11. So it will be equal to 9x minus 11. So on equating the two, that is 6 times a number x increased by 10 is equal to 9 times a number x diminished by 11. This is the mathematical equation that is formed. On solving this equation, we will get minus 3x equal to minus 21 or x is equal to 7. So the required number is 7. The sum of two consecutive numbers is 57. What are the numbers? Let us say that the smaller number be x. Now the next number will be the successor which will be x plus 1. Now the sum of the two numbers is 57. So the smaller number x plus the successor x plus 1 will be equal to 57. So x plus x plus 1 is equal to 57 is the mathematical equation. Or we have 2x equal to 56 and x is equal to 28. So the smaller number is 28 and the bigger number is 29. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 84. What are the numbers if the middle number is x? Let the middle number be x. Even number 
predecessor of x will be x minus 2. And even number successor of x will be x plus 2. Now the sum of all these numbers is 84. So I have x minus 2 plus x plus x plus 2 equal to 84. On solving this equation, we get 3x is equal to 84 or x is equal to 28. So the middle number is 28. The predecessor of x will be x minus 2. That is 28 minus 2 equal to 26. And the successor of x will be x plus 2 is equal to 28 plus 2 equal to 30. So the three consecutive even numbers are 26, 28 and 30.